Ms. Stefani. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, General Campbell, for your testimony today, for your service, and for your family's support over your decades of service to our nation. Um, earlier this year, I had the opportunity to participate in a delegation visit to Afghanistan with Mr. Wilson, Mr. Moulton, and Mr. Ashford, my colleagues on this committee. And in addition to meeting with our troops deployed, we also visited with President Ghani. And one of the issues that President Ghani raised was the threat of Daesh within Afghanistan. And in your written testimony today, you state, quote, Daesh has grown much faster than we anticipated, and its continued development in Afghanistan presents a legitimate threat to the entire region. In the last year, we have observed the movement's increased recruiting efforts and growing operational capacity. I wanted to see if you could elaborate on specifically what you're seeing on the ground in terms of that increased recruitment efforts, th their operational capacity, and their presence in the 34 provinces in Afghanistan. Well, thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you came through. In fact, I was back here, I think, testifying, and thank you for taking the visit. Uh, Daesh or ISIL-KP um, continues to be a concern of President Ghani, Dr. Abdullah, the, uh, the security forces. Pakistan has issues with Daesh as well. I've talked to General Hill about that. Uh, I think if you talk to President Ghani about it in terms of recruiting, what he would have told you is Al-Qaeda was Windows 1.0, uh, Daesh is Windows 7.0, and their ability to use social media to get out and recruit. Having said that, Daesh and Taliban uh, ideology, they're different, and so they continue to fight each other, uh, specifically in the province of Nangarhar in the east, and that's where we've seen the biggest presence of, of Daesh. There are reports throughout the, the different provinces, uh, upward of probably 25 plus provinces, we've had reports of, of Daesh, but the significant presence is really in the east, and in Nangarhar, it's uh, down in northern Helmand a little bit, uh, and probably in Saripol and, and Herat and Gore in the West, uh, but predominantly in, in Nangarhar. Um, I don't believe today, you know, when I was here in February, March, I would have said it was nascent. Today, I'd say it's operationally emergent. So we have to continue to watch. We have to continue to make sure that uh, the Afghans apply pressure uh, on, the Af on, on ISIS or Daesh to make sure that doesn't continue to grow. As you know, they are very uh, barbaric, brutal, and they've, they've shown instances of that in Afghanistan as well by cutting off heads of uh, captives, by kidnapping, by taking men and women, throwing them on uh, a pile of IEDs and blowing that up. So, again, the Afghan people uh, have no, um, uh, no time for, for dice there, and, and the Afghan security forces want to continue to go after that. Um, what is your assessment of uh, Afghanistan's approach to countering recruitment efforts. You talked about Daesh's successful social media, which we're seeing throughout the Middle East today, and frankly, globally. Um, what is your assessment of what, Af what President Ghani and his administration are doing in countering that? I, I think a lot of it is the educational piece. They're trying to work that in the universities. They're trying to work that uh, uh, through radio, TV, campaign ads, and showing the benefits of having a unit of government uh, supporting the Afghan security forces. You know, I, I don't think, for the most part, they have to, well, they show video of, of uh, how brutal Daesh is. You know, that really just turns the people away. So um, they, they have to continue to work that very hard. I think uh, they've done a good job at that, uh, and they'll continue to try to work together both with the resolute support forces on the ground and the neighbors in the region. President Ghani's approaching this really from a regional standpoint, and has said, you know, we can't, uh, we're fighting DICE, we're fighting this for the entire region, we've got to continue to reach out. And they'll hold a conference here, I think the end of October time frame, where they bring in all the operational and the intelligence arms of all the surrounding countries to talk specifically about DICE and how they can combat that together. Thank you very much. I yield back.